I think the notion which is taught in so much of modern academia that liquidity is this of uh, of uh, tradable common stock is a great contributor to capitalism. I think that is mostly twaddle. Uh, the GNP of the United States grew at very good rates long before we had highly liquid uh, markets for for common stock. I don't know where people got that silly notion. I think the liquidity gives us these crazy booms, which have many problems as well as virtues. And uh, in England, if you'll remember, after the South Sea bubble, England banned tradable common stocks for decades. It was absolutely illegal to have a, a company so widely held you got a liquid market in the shares. and. England did fine during that period when you didn't have a stock market. So if you think that liquidity is a great contributor to civilization, why, then you probably believe that all the real estate in America, which is relatively illiquid, hasn't been developed properly. The, um, Keynes actually commented on the perversions brought about by liquidity. But of course, the truth is that Berkshire trades on average, $50 million or so of stock a day. So there's very few people that are going to have any problem with Berkshire, uh, the liquidity in, in the stock. Uh, but we're trying to create more of them, mm -hmm. more people who have this big liquidity problem because they own so much stock. 